my fellow viewers. Uh, I'm not trying to hide. I apologize if you can't see my face. I'm wearing dark and you know, like a not very lit place. Except for the water that is in the back, that is gloriously in the background. So I'm in San Francisco at the AMC. Uh, I forgot the actual name, but uh, it's near a Target. So if you just look up Target, AMC, San Francisco, uh, you'll find out what I well, what I am. But the name means it starts with M, the little M. So like my name starts with M. Anyway, I want to talk about uh, Black Panther: Wakanda Forever. Um, as a short review. I'm not going to go in depth. In, 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 sorry, in depth about it. It's, it's actually it's a good movie. Quite emotional with the passing of Chadwick Baldwin and uh, well, you know, the character. You see his sister at the you know jumping to the mantle like Panther. You see people, uh, you know, coming out of the water. And apparently, they are looking for revenge of a sort. Um, I could probably just put it right there, and then we will kind of exist him, and we're kind of trying to let the surface world or the other, or the other world know that they are prepared in case they have to go to war. Um, this, this movie is actually quite political. Like, that's what I realized about Black Panther, like the entire, I guess, MCU version of it is quite political. Um, and maybe I'm paying attention, you know, because the, the people in the water are some way uh, ancient Native American, kind of like Mayan, Aztec, and or whatever, um, which are like the ancestrals of uh, the Mexicans, or you know, you know. And so, the, the lead, the lead antagonist, uh, uh, Namor, or, or Namor, is called in the film, but in the comics it's called Namor. He's played by, uh, I think he's played by, I know he's Latino, but I'm not sure if he's Mexican, but he, he plays the role quite well, actually. So the thing about it is, um, he plays Namor, which is a, a, a member of a, he's a Indian, so to speak, you know, and, you know, he has a war against the selfish war and whatnot, you know, classic Atlantis slash selfish war, uh, you know, paddle there. Okay, mind you, the little mermaid that's gonna come out next year, you know? Get it, Disney? Come on, man, it's all Disney later. Anyway, um, long story short, political, uh, serious, some good humor, actually. Like, I like Black Panther because it does go all over the top with humor. Like, Thor, the last Thor movie was way too ridiculous. Like, it's funny, but it's too ridiculous. It kinda has, sorry, but, Black Panther 2 has humor when it needs to be. It, you know, it's not over the top, like, I don't know, Thor 4 was just trying to show out by being funny. Like, it was trying to top its laughing a lot. You know? And, uh, I mean, I think Tahiti has good potential, I'm not gonna lie. But, Thor is so small compared to Black Panther 2. Black Panther 2 was better. You know, and, I so I encourage you to go see this movie. Um, yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, I don't know what else to say about that. I don't want to get away. The video kind of short because you know a lot of people might not view it. Um, if you like this video, subscribe or just just like it. You won't even have to subscribe. You just like it. Or Leave a comment in the uh, you know where the comments are. Uh, let me know if you want to go see it. Let me know thought about it like don't don't let me know if you want to go see it or like, you know, like it's a date or anything but still um yeah but uh go see black people too and figure it is